Welcome to this demonstration of MySQL HA with MySQL Group Application and Proxy SQL. So, first of all, uh, we need to have a group replication in a DB cluster with three uh, members. So here we have MySQL 1, MySQL 2 and MySQL 3. Let's have a look at them. We're going to use performance schema to see who are the members and who are the state. And we can see here there are, uh, we have three members all online, two, three, one. So to install ProxySQL, it's very easy and to set up too. To set up, you just need to know a bit of uh, SQL and knowing what you want to do. So I will install the RPM. You can find it on ProxySQL website or on GitHub. It's done. To start ProxySQL, it's very easy. You just start a service. Okay, so we have now ProxySQL started and uh, we are able to connect to it in the admin interface. So to connect to the admin interface, we're gonna use the MySQL client. As you can see, I've installed ProxySQL on one uh, of the member, which is of course maybe uh, not what you want in production, but here for demo, it's perfect. The um, admin console uh, for proxy SQL is listening on port 6032-6032. As you can see, we are connected directly to the proxy admin module. For more clarity, I will change the prompt to admin. Okay, so now let's uh, discuss a bit about of, uh, what we want to achieve. In fact, if you remember correctly on what I wrote earlier, to make uh, HA with MySQL group, group application, uh, what we do is that we can write on all the members, but it's not what we recommend. If you don't know uh, perfectly your workload and your schema that are very that must be specific if you write on multiple nodes. Uh, it's always recommended to write only on one member. So with ProxySQL, what we're gonna do, we're gonna write on one member, and when the member has an issue, we're gonna uh, switch to another one, fill over to another one automatically. So uh, also one remark on this, people think sometimes and they say, oh, uh, if I have multiple writes, I will scale up my writes then. So it's, with the group replication, it's maybe bad to, to write only on one uh, member. This is not true, because if you're uh, right, uh, you do 100 write on, the, on one member, as we are using synchronous replication, you do 100 writes on the other members too at the same time. This is synchronous, right? So if 100 is your max capacity, the max capacity is already reached on every members. So adding writing, adding more rights on another member won't help. It will be worse in fact. So here this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna create the host uh, group in Proxy SQL. Host group are let's say source uh, destination for um, queries. Uh, and it proxy so you send queries to uh, Proxy SQL and ProxySQL gonna route them to host groups, depending on some rules. So we're gonna create a host group here that has one active um, member, and if there is an issue, it will switch to another one, okay? So what we need to do that, we need to add our um, members, MySQL uh, servers, in into uh, ProxySQL. So this is how we do. So we insert into MySQL server host group ID host name port. Host name is the IP. Host group it's the one ID and I select the one uh, for my first um, host group. Then I will add my three the IP of my three others member here. So here, if I do 
let's put in a bigger screen here if I do select star from select star from MySQL servers I can see all my uh, my server in host group one then we're gonna create a second host group the second host group here will have a, a different way and uh, what it will do the purpose of it is that it will run within the queries to uh, the online members of the group so if we make an analogy uh, with this setup and what we are used to see in asynchronous replication host group one will be for the master and host group uh, two will be uh, for the slaves right even if in production uh, it's always recommended to not split only read and writes like that uh, certainly uh, because it could be very difficult to do and uh, you can have some false positive and stuff like that so the best thing to do it's always to send all queries to one node so what we call here uh, let's say host group one that could be seen as a master and then the DBA will identify which are the heavy queries that are eating the production which select are bad is there reporting stuff like that and this one we, the, the DBA we create rules to send them to the other host group to the slaves right so here for the demo uh, we won't do that what we're gonna do is just I will send for example all the select to host group 2 right so let's create this host group this second host group right so it's very it's exactly the same as previously for host one and now we should have all these servers in two different groups okay and you can see it's always the third same uh, members right so when we are here it, this was very easy what we need to also the application must be able to connect to proxy sql for for example if i try now my application connect to my sql1 where the proxy is running on port the, the, the port for proxy sql it's 6033 6033 you can see it said cannot connect uh, to uh, to my sql there uh, oh. this is oh, okay proxy sql error i was made a typo in the ip here we can see proxy sql error access is denied so what we need to do is to create a user in proxy to use proxy sql and that by default that user will be forwarded to the backend so here what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create this a user to be used with proxy sql so we're gonna add an entry in mysql users inside of the proxy sql admin interface i call it the thread password the thread and the default host group so if the query doesn't match any rules by default it will reach the host group one so every query will reach always for us the writer okay so we need also to uh, create a user in uh, in our uh, group to be able to connect right? so now if we do user refret password refret we are able to connect and you can see we are in proxy sql okay so now that we have created that what we need to also uh, check is we need to verify if the nodes are okay so make some l check right to do that we are going to use a monitor user and proxy sql as a monitor user defined by default let's have a look at it so the monitor username it's monitor the monitor uh, password it's also monitor so we're gonna create that uh, monitor user in uh, the group so what do we need to 
to uh, to see the health check of a group uh, of a member of the group to see if it's okay or not to be, if we can route data to it we're gonna use a sys uh, table uh, that it's called group replication member routing candidate status here we can see is it a viable candidate is it read only does it have some transaction behind yes it may have some delay i will show you that in more details after but so this is what we need to do so we're going to create a privilege for so we can go there and check what's going on okay this is clear let's have a look here so we're going to connect the monitor here we are can we run the query we want to run yes so this is perfect monitoring uh, user is ready so now we have created our uh, three uh, or two groups we are or the three servers we have we have our username what we're gonna do now it's gonna we're gonna save the MySQL users to disk and the MySQL servers to disk let's save our configuration to be sure so now what we know that we have a monitor user what we need to do is to tell ProxySQL to check this information here how can we do that by default there is some embedded monitoring in ProxySQL but the developers have now uh, added uh, something new called schedulers. With schedulers, it gives us the possibility to run at some intervals some script and then make some, take some decision and make some modification of, from the script. And this is where we're gonna put the monitor logic. The monitoring logic will be in that script. So it is less heavier and give much more possibility uh, than coding uh, internally of ProxySQL all this uh, information. So what we need now is to use a, a script to monitor. So let's go back here. So we're gonna create, there is, I've created a, a demo script for you and uh, it's on GitHub. You'll find the link in the description or in the blog post. And we're gonna copy that uh, script. The script is called ProxySQL replication checker sh and we're gonna put it in var lib proxy sql so this is the script that uh, we're gonna call to uh, to check the uh, how the, um, the nodes are okay or not so now we need to create a scheduler entry the scheduler entry will allow us to run the script so this is an insert again in the scheduler table with we give an ID the interval in millisecond the file name so the file name of the, the name of the script then five arguments and here so the script will be ID one I want to run it every two seconds so we put 2000 milliseconds then the full pass of my script Here one two one zero. It's very uh, strange what it is. These arguments are, but I will explain it to you. And then the log file. So first add it, and then have a look. Select start from scheduler, and I will explain you what are uh, why from scheduler. So here, what are these arguments? So these arguments are arguments that the um, script here is expecting so one is the host group id for the first group what we can see as a right group arc2 is the uh, is the host group id for the reads so in this case two argument three is the number 
of writers that we want uh, active. So the, the amount of node that we want active in node one, so by default one, and the fourth argument, uh, it represent, if you want that the, um, uh, the member that is active in group one, will be active or can be also act, be active in group two by default we said no right and five is the log file okay so let's save the scheduler to disk two no the scheduler it's running right so let's have a look at our servers you can see here online online soft here it decides that the node has to be uh, offline. Okay, let's go back in the admin interface and let's have a look. And you can see here now, it took time to, for it to run, that the here on group two it's also offline. Why this? We, we remember in the uh, scheduler here argument 4 was 0 so if we do update uh, scheduler scheduler set arc 4 equal 1 see here oh, a bit too much online okay here you can see that the two it's online all right these are VMs so sometimes you can you, you see there was a bit gap because it was too fast so to avoid this you can increase um, the interval As my machine is slow I will update the interval to So now, here, everything is good. I will put back that I don't want the master or the active node on group one to be also uh, active on group two. Let's have a look. Second, and it's offline so this is what we want okay so now right let's have a look here this is my scale one right and is let's say as a master it acts as a master so if I go in my SQL and if I do this Do you think I, can, I still can be a master? No. You see, here Proxy SQL already made the change, the switch. So now, when we connect, so let's have a look here. Let's do a small connection. So we're gonna connect on the proxy. We're gonna select the host name, sleep tree. So three seconds between, and we can see we are on a MySQL tree, MySQL one, three and one are here. So why this? I know, I think I know. So it's using group two. So I have a rule that I've made. Select uh, show tables. So select star from my square rules. 
Yes, Kurt, there is a road already, so I will delete it. Delete. You can see I deleted it directly, and here, as you can see, I will. Uh, I have to save. Save. MySQL query rules to disk and I will load MySQL rules to runtime. We should not connect to MySQL tree anymore. See, we always connect now on MySQL 2. Why this? Because if we check, MySQL 2 is the one, is, it's here, it's the dot tree. MySQL 2 is the one online for on group 1. So let's put it back. You can see. We are MySQL 1 now. So every connection will reach MySQL 1. Okay? So now let's extend a bit because we monitor not only if we are valid candidate, we don't only uh, see if it's read only, but we also use transaction behind, right? So let's have a look what does that mean. So now, for example, here you can see we can send select to the to, we can send queries from on host group two if if needed, right? So let me uh, do a select all status and add here max replication like. This is not in seconds for, uh, but we're gonna use it as the amount of uh, of transaction behind. So. Update MySQL servers set max replication lag equal five. It's very low, of course, but for the test, it's perfect. Where host group equal to. So now what does that mean? It means that if one of these nodes has a queue bigger than five, it won't be uh, considered as healthy and will be offline. Let me show you that. So here, this node, my spell two, I will do Flush table read read lock. Okay. Here I will do create database fret create database fret use fret create table t which is id int auto increment oh. primary key and for your journey right. if I check now here the status of this one I can see yes we did two transactions behind creation of the table of the database and the creation of the table. Now we do insert into t values my colleagues of the MySQL community team. It's 
one transaction, right? So I will create another transaction now. So net Louis. We are six transactions behind. So what would happen here? It became offline. So MySQL2, which is dot three here, became offline in this group because it has uh, um, a lack of more than what we defined here. So unlock tables eight seconds and you can see it's back online right so this is uh, how it works so this is quite fast so next and last thing i want to show you now it's to create a rule because we have these two hosts, but we want to automatically make them move from one to another one. So how can you do that? We're gonna create a rule. And this is quite uh, very easy to do. So we're gonna insert in MySQL query rules. The rule has to be uh, active. What we're gonna check, we're gonna only check very stupid rule, but all the queries that start by select, we're gonna send them then on host group two, and we want to uh, apply it, right? So now you can see on group two only uh, what I mean uh, only uh, MySQL two and MySQL four are online. Right. Uh, let me save my query. Uh, and you can see here now, because we do a select host name, we go to MySQL 2, MySQL 3, 2 and 3 directly. As soon as I've loaded my query, my, uh, my rule, we go to two and three here. We don't go to one anymore because we do a select, right? So this is all we would from one node to another, uh, from one host group to another host group. This ends this demo. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you have any question, leave comments and uh, I will make a pleasure to answer you. Goodbye, thank you very much.